We're here at the Cam Newton 7-on-7 seven seven with five-star quarterback Dante Moore. And Dante, first off, when you're out here around these NFL players, these high-level players, what goes through your head in this kind of environment? Uh, it's just a true blessing, man. Like, a lot of people don't get the chance to come out here and be around Cam and be around Pac-Man Jones and be around so many great legends out here. And that's it's a true blessing for me. And when I come out here, as I live in the moment, I'll always be in the moment, ask them questions, ask them what's their success and how they've done what they've done. And like I said, it's a big thanks and shout out to, you know, Cam, have, you know, hosting the tournament and having the young kids and young athletes come out here and enjoy the time. Got you. Now, when you have a resource like Cam here that you can talk to quarterback to quarterback, what do you think of asking or what are things that you want to know from him? Really, uh, you know, we both, of course, know a lot about football, but I really don't ask him a lot about football questions, to be honest. Um, I ask him the personal questions that the downfalls he had, the success he had, you know, winning a uh, Heisman, winning and being the first pick and everything. It's just, just asking him questions, what it took to get there, what's the hard work and everything he put in. And, of course, if I have, if I have issues with my body, I'm asking him, asking him about some questions, if he had to deal with the problems or anything. But just having him, having him as a source to talk to about his life and about everything, especially as a young black quarterback, and, you know, him being a young black man, it's just like, this is a true blessing, man. I can't really talk much about it. Like I said, I'm just thankful for it. Gotcha. And for you, talk, walk me through your story of getting to this point of being a five-star national top five quarterback. Right. Uh, I'm just shout out, of course, big thanks to God, of course. Without him, nothing is possible. And really just me coming out, and just from, especially from Detroit, and being a five-star, it takes a lot of hard work. And like I said, being up from Detroit, you know, it's a lot of things that aren't successful for a lot of young black men. And being out there, like I said, of course, I have a strong family. My dad, you know, works a lot. And to me, just seeing how he works and all the hard, all the hard work he puts in, I just see it and I just, you know, do I duplicate it. I just do what he done. And like I say, you know, of course, he's doing a working job and I'm just taking the football route. And like I said, it's been a strong family behind me, giving me points. And like I said, I've been reaching out to resources and they're giving me points. So like I said, really just been a long, long process. But like I said, I'm enjoying it. For sure. Now walk me through on the field. Break down your game and who you are as a football player. Uh, as a football player, um, I'm just a, uh, I'm a leader. Uh, like I said, I really love being out there and you know throwing the ball to the receivers. You know, you know, maintaining the offense, controlling the environment, and everything, and really just making sure that you know receivers shine. Like I say, you know, give them the ball, let them do them. Like cause I said, they're the playmakers for you, so let them get the ball, let them do what they're special for, and really just me. I just like to, you know, lead and really just play football, to be honest. Like I said, it's a lot of stress going on in my life and everything, but football just takes everything away, and I really appreciate it a lot. Got you. So now, outside of football, what are some things you enjoy or hobbies you have outside of the game? Uh, I love playing Warzone with my teammates, Rebirth. Uh, I love hunting with my family in Ohio. I love bowling. Like I said, if I, if I didn't play football, I'd probably put all my hours into bowling. Like I said, I love bowling, you know, keeps my keeps me calm and really – I just love eating, love doing a lot of things. So, like I said, I'm really just, just love working out. But mainly, I love bowling, you know, hunting, and really just being a young kid. Gotcha. And for you, you're someone that has done a lot already. You've got a lot of potential. But what are some goals and things that you hope to achieve in your future? Uh, really, just be successful in anything I do. Like I said, if it's through football, I want to be very, very successful in football. But if it's outside of football, I just want to be successful in everything I do. Like I said, I don't really – I have plans and everything, but like I said, I want to keep them in with me and to make sure I could achieve what I could achieve. And like I said, I'm just thankful for where I'm at today. Awesome. Dante, thank you for your time and good luck. I appreciate it. Thank you so much.